I respond to the boldness of them, the um, fetishism of them. I've always been a bit of a fetishist. We all are, really, aren't we? <laughs> I am Tim Blanks for Style.com. The arc of Alexander McQueen's career is so extraordinary that it's impossible to pick highlights. But at the end of the 90s, there were three shows, one after the other, that had an irresistible elemental connection. The first two were water and fire. Then this one was air, in a way, because it had a lightness that was very, very different from the shows before it. The leather body pieces and the layers of lace there was such a dichotomy at work. It's, it had always been in McQueen's work, the darkness and the light. But I think here it was so fully expressed that this was probably his finest work as a designer up to that point in his career. And I really think that's how people responded to it. It was a watershed moment for him. Softer, lighter, more sensual, the woman. I mean, I think you felt a woman in there a little bit more than maybe other times. No, I loved it. And it was very sexy. All the mechanics were very sexy. It must be strange to be under 30 and to have achieved everything that you want to achieve. So I think his heart is what really drives his, his work. He used the Paralympian Amy Mullins as a model in the show. And he actually had a pair of wooden legs carved for her that looked like the most extraordinary boots. And inevitably, people called up and tried to order the boots that Amy Mullen was wearing, not realizing that they were actually wooden legs. You know, the people that made the leather jewelry, they actually make, uh, from Roehampton Hospital, and they make uh, prosthetic limbs. And Lee simply used their techniques and put it into, you know, fashion accessories and clothing. This was a show that defied logic in so many ways. It was a, a show about dominance and submission. It asked questions that fashion shows don't normally ask, mainly because the questions it asked was so much about the role of fashion, uh, how fashion treats people. For the finale of the show, Shalom walked out in a white dress and these robots that usually paint cars had their way with her. It was a... Uh, an amazing moment in pop culture and it was a devastating image. I think it was a show that really expressed where McQueen himself was going. It was maybe the most perfect expression up to that point in his career of, his, of him as a fashion designer. And that was Alexander McQueen. I'd really like to know what you thought of that. Let me know. And please subscribe to the Style.com channel while you're at it.